Have you ever thought about how information is created and how it changes over time? We call this process the information cycle. When you start researching an event or an idea, there will be different types of resources available with varying quality depending on where the event falls in the information cycle. Understanding this cycle is important when you're trying to find the best resources to use in your assessments. Let's take a look at the cycle. Immediately after an event, information will be shared on TV and radio news platforms and social media. Often at this point the details will be limited to the what and the where. Days after the event, more details will be available in newspapers and popular media such as online forums and breakfast TV. Reporters have had more time to investigate who was involved and why. In the weeks and months after the event, more detailed analysis will have taken place. Magazines and current affairs programs will be discussing the event in greater depth. Researchers will also begin to analyse the event and its impacts. And as time goes on, scholarly journal articles will be published. Years after the event, government reports and books may be published as well, as new ideas link the event to the wider discussion of its social impacts. This research leads to more investigation and analysis, and the cycle starts again. The work you do as a student contributes to the information cycle and can start new conversations. If you are struggling to locate scholarly resources for your topic, think about where it is in the information cycle. If it's a current event, you may only be able to find newspaper articles or social media posts rather than scholarly sources. Primo Search does contain published material from all stages in the cycle, so remember to check even when you're researching current events.